Yo, what's going on guys, Nizion here back with another video and in today's video I'll be showing you how you can go ahead and remove lag from your gameplay on PS4. But before I get started in today's video, if you are new around here, hit the subscribe button as well as turn on post notifications to join the Nizion Nation. And also if you guys do want a gaming chair, check out gtracing.com and use the code Nizion to get yourself $10 off your order. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started into today's PlayStation tutorial. So, for instance, I'm going to actually be loading up Fortnite for you guys because a lot of you probably play Fortnite and experiencing lag on this game in specific. Now, there is a lot of games out there that actually do experience more lag compared to others. Now, in my case, uh, Fortnite, Call of Duty, and some sport titles such as uh, 2K as well as FIFA are the most laggiest games and due to their servers and etc. because they're just overloaded. And I don't see a lot of lag in like other games such as GTA and uh, some other other online titles as well such as Red Dead Redemption because their servers are a little bit more better and they don't lag as much compared to these servers that are very much overloaded on a daily basis. So to actually fix your internet connection and making your lag basically disappear, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on that today. Now there is two different types of lagging. Now there are one type which is input lag and that's due to your console as well as usually input lag does happen on PCs and not really on consoles. And now it does happen occasionally on on consoles especially especially on ps4 because some type of games do require more capability from your playstation or your console cpu which then does actually drop your frame rates and you'll be able to see that a frame rate and your fps going down a little bit more and in specific i'm going to be talking about in fortnite here if you go under settings in fortnite and you click on r2 or rt if you're on xbox and you go down to net debug settings and you put that onto on and then click wire triangle to apply that right there you'll be able to see on the top left of your screen your ping as well as your packet loss now if your ping and packet loss like fluctuates a lot like over 50 over 100 that usually does mean that it is a problem with your internet connection and to fix that all the one very common thing that a lot of people do is to move their console a little bit more closer to their uh, network uh, internet connection modem or their router so that sometimes does actually fix the problem but also in specific think about what console that you have if you have the older launch ps4 title uh, that console actually does not support 5g internet connection and nowadays 5g internet connection is double the speed of the older 2.4 gigahertz internet connection speed which is given only on the ps4 the launch edition ps4 which makes things much more slower now upgrading to a ps4 slim or ps4 pro actually doubles your internet connection speed if you have that wi-fi capability of 5 gigahertz and you'll have to talk to your internet service provider for that but in specific that is the one thing that you need to know and understand that if you're trying to actually play wi-fi then make sure that you have that 5 gigahertz connection speed with your ps4 slim or your ps4 pro now actually moving on to the next thing which is actually how you can actually get better internet connection in my opinion i actually switched to playing wired connection and it's just been very very well for me it's worked out much more better my connection speeds are just a double and it's just insane so first of all all you need to do is to get a, a wired connection onto your ps4 is you'll need an ethernet cable or a lan cable you get them online on amazon or in in person from best buy walmart or any electronic store near you and i recommend getting a cat 5 or a cat 6 cable that just gets your connection much much better and in my personal opinion that's probably the best way to go and now with this cable you connect one end to the back of your ps4 and another end straight into your modem now try moving your ps4 as closest to your uh, router or modem as possible to get the best connection speed obviously because you'll need a cable that is long enough to reach your modem as well as to reach your ps4 so be sure to calculate the distance as well when you're actually purchasing the cable now after you do that all you need to do is go under your settings in ps4 go under network click on setup internet connection and click on use lan cable click on easy and it'll go through the whole process and that will be done right there now i also see and you probably watch some of these videos online of these people going into their wi-fi settings going in a custom and setting a specific ip of like maybe google or a big company like uh, apple or something to get a better internet connection but in my personal opinion a lot of others as well doing this actually overloads their servers and makes things actually worse than it was before so i recommend just playing wired and getting rid of any of that uh, ip addresses that you probably found online anyways as i don't really trust those either because it might be pretty harmful for you as well so i recommend just playing wired in specific getting a lan cable just makes your experience much more better and trust me guys you'll be able to see that difference as well 
Now guys, that's been it for today's video. It's been a pretty short tutorial, but I just want to let you guys know on how you guys can improve your internet connection in game. And that's been it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the comment section down below. It's been a morning, and I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace out.